A good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Ray, which is back out again today because I love it. Um, I'm somewhere completely different, completely new, 150 miles away from where I usually met up the text. A long old drive. I'm back in my home county of Wiltshire, hence my little bit of a Wiltshire twangy action I've got going on. Um, I'm on my permission over where I grew up, my little hometown of where I grew up. So I'm out over here having a bit of a dig. Uh, contacted the farmer. He said, yeah, crack on, but I've only got a couple of fields available. Everything else has been seeded. Uh, and it is, the crops are shooting up. So I think I've actually got a pasture field to go on today. Uh, might have some field puppies on it. Cows. Um, <laughs> but he said, yeah, crack on, fill my boots. Um, so I have had, of this area before, Roman. And I have looked back and there is a Roman villa situated quite close by as well. So the possibility of Roman could be quite high, but then again, you've got to walk over it to find it. And if I'm not walking over the right signals, the right areas and stuff, I won't be finding anything. Um, massive thank you to the my subscribers and the thumbs up people. You guys make it worthwhile. Um, what else? What else? Um, I'm on my own. I've got no. I've got no wingman with me today. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, she'll be out with me again soon. But she's up. She's up north, seeing her family, and I'm up down west country see my family so yeah i know graham less gassing people don't hear me gassing they want to see me find stuff i'm hoping i will find some today i hope it makes it worthwhile uh, i've got about five hours out in the fields today the weather is going to be absolutely atrocious even the drive here i could have done with a submarine there was flooded roads everywhere the farmer chainsaw and something anyway <laughs> less gas in growth heat i see it on the field um for a wet muddy one no matter the weather skin's waterproof get out of there digging and if you want to take a mail detector as well check out the links in the description below lp leisure promotions to give yourself an lp hat that you can say hat no you can't i did that myself um yeah give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button that is it next time you see me i'll be out getting muddy and wet off a truck oh i'm just walking along as i do always keep my eyes to the ground Oyster shell, that's a good indication of the Romans. And there's more oyster shell over here. There's quite a lot of oyster shell. Another piece here, look. Uh, there you go, oyster shell, and there's more oyster shell. So I'm gonna scan the bejesus out of this bit because that's a good indication. There might be some uh, the Romans might have been here. So, because they used to have oysters, it's like a little chocolate bar snack sort of thing. It's like a, a delicacy. It makes me wonder though, because I'm nowhere near any coastlines. <laughs> so how do the oysters get here? Well, into the beans, a uh, piece of lead, but I think that possibly like a pop bend or something. It's got a big hole in, um, big sticky out bit there. It's definitely been worked. Piece of leadage of age. I'm not too sure. Hmm. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Uh, my next signal up the ground is this here. It's just a two ringer bullet, I think. Yeah, it's been fired. So it's an old bullet. I found it. I don't think it hit its target either. It's quite rounded on the edge. Not Roman, though, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna hear you have a nice live one here, actually. It's 24 25. So yeah, could be something good. Could be a piece of aluminium. Could be a big bit of bra or copper or something. Nothing obvious sticking out of the hole. Is it out or is it still in? Oh, I may have missed it a little bit. Seems to be here. And this is a little bit of side voltage. Um, the ground conditions here are completely different to what I'm used to back over in, in uh, Kent land. It's uh, sandier. Maybe I didn't miss it. 
Oh, it's in here. Guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? I need to come on and plead for something good. Plead for something to you. Oh, I can see it already. It's a big chunk of aluminium crud. Well, I've just been downpoured on by that horrible lot. But it's a sign of a good day when the blue sky comes out to play. Oh, yeah. So hope it stays like that and not like that. Let's keep going. Let's keep going to keep digging. I've got to find something. Got a signal. Clean 15, but I think I can see it on the surface. Oh, look at that oyster shell right near the coil there. Uh, I think this might just be a, a button, surface button. Looking at it, yeah. Just a surface button. It's a good indication now. I'm finding actual life. We're getting older. Um, gone from a modern 2-2 air rifle bullet to a two-ringer pistol bullet to a older pistol ball. Now, will I get even older than that and get a trebuchet or something? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, a little pistol ball. Hard to find, you know. Oh, the soil's different and I need to change my settings to get amongst it. Maybe it's a bit more um, boom boom tractors. Um, Mineralised, but I don't know. I don't know. I need to play around a little bit, I think. Let's crack on. Well, well, well. I'm onto my first round of a jet in the ground. I think it might, well, it's not really because I've had a button on the surface, but I'm onto Bacuin. And you get detail. Oh, look how smooth that is. That's smooth. Get any details of it at all. I'm gonna actually say Georgian looking at that. Yeah, I am gonna call it a Georgian, but I can't. Or is it? I don't know. It's a coin of nothingness. Right. Do a live one, it's about here somewhere, I think. Nice 20, 21. about here, possibly a coin because it sounded really clean in the air, you know. I've just had one. I'll just hit a bit of a hot spot to the field. Poss possible, possible. Uh, nothing round out the ground. No, I think it's saying it's out or I've missed it. It's up here. Can't see anything. I have missed it, it's a bit further up, it's there. Oh, going deeper underground again. Change hands. What's it gonna be? Is it gonna be a coin or is it gonna be a bit of top? I've had one coin today. I have hoped for two. Two would be nice. Two coins would be nice. Wherever it is, it says it's here. See, this is where you've got a hand stabby thing again. Let's try it and get. Is that it? Stone! Something, something. Is that so? <laughs> oh my god. I'm just going to get another spade in there and get oh, the frustration of live digs. Especially when it turns out to be diddly diddly. Oh, oh, that's not round. Hey, okay, it was rewarded with another coin. That's oh, got a patina, and that's going to be Victoria. With that patina, it's going to be Queen Victoria, without a shadow of a doubt. I don't know why, but Queen Victoria coins always come up with this lovely dark 18, all oh, the 8s look, lucky 8s, 1888. Yeah, I don't know why Queen Victoria coins always come up with this lovely dark green patina. Okay. Second coin of the day, I'm alive. Brilliant. Got about two hours left. I am going to go try a different field. I just uh, bumped into the farmer and just uh, questioned about a different field which I've never been on either. Uh, this one's a bit more on a hill and uh, near a church, so 
hoping this one's gonna bring up a bit more goodies. But the proof is in the pudding and you've got to walk over to find it. So less gas than you guys. I'm gonna go start walking to the fields not far. Start swinging on the, on the pasture. As you can see, it's not long been in pasture. It's still got the, the straight lines where the grass was planted. Um, but at least it's been had that time to settle. Um, I've just had another two, two little uh, lead bullet up here. So I need to pat that down. <laughs> pat that down. So yeah, it's had some field puppies in here as well. But anyway, let's, uh, let's crack on. The reason I chose a pasture and changed fields, I always seem to have a bit more luck on pasture. I don't know why. I think it is because everything's compacted, so you get a nice cleaner signal with any, without any of the air gaps, but I may be wrong. Anyway, let's keep hunting, try and find some silver or a bit of gold. That was a, quite a deep hole all the way down there in that monstrosity. There was a worm living. I ruined his slumber to reveal this here. It's a big old 50 cow. I think it's 50. Humongous bullet. Right for butte. Weren't gonna miss it. Probably from an aircraft back from Zavor, but hey, more bullets. Let's crack on. Um I've been digging two two ends and they've been ringing up a ten. Um lots of them, I mean lots of them. This ring up about 10 as well. Uh, you can see it. That is Amos coin. That is a bloody minter as well. I haven't seen in this silver before. That's got to be a uh, Edward. Look at that. That cleaned up. Oh my God, that rang up clean as anything. <laughs> Where was it? There, there you go. It was in the clod. There, a little clod in front of where it was. Literally just flopped out. Almost didn't dig up. I'm not digging another 2 2. I'm glad I did. It's on the silver ammo. Absolute Bobby Dazzler as well. Look at that. Get in. Happy days. What's crazy is most, stay there, most of the fields in these lovely little lines where it's freshly planted, where I've just found that hammered coin, is this bit here, where the farmer's obviously missed it, missed a triangle. I thought I'll just give that little bit of a triangle a burn, and I found it just there. <laughs> it's crazy. I have zigzagged this whole triangle down. And the reason I zigzagged the whole triangle down is because I remember someone saying when the uh, hammered coins come out like really, really looking silver, Sometimes they're part of a hoard coin. Um, so I am going to completely scan this area. Uh, my mate Chris, addicted to bleach, found a really silver one and he was chatting to someone and he said it's part of a hoard coin. So yeah, I am going to go thoroughly. I've only got about an hour left as well. So I am going to religiously zigzag all the area where I've just found it. And you never know, you never know, I could be onto my first hoard. Fingers crossed. Uh, Onto something here, which I do believe already had a little pick up, put up, pick up, put down. Uh, I think that's a bag seal. Yeah, it's got a little bird on it. It's got a little bird stamped in it there. Uh, I don't know what's on that bit. Something else. Yeah, I'm gonna call that bag seal or hem weight, but I'm gonna edge towards bag seal over hem weight. Cool. Um, it's gonna be a fork, isn't it? It's gonna be a fork or a spoon. It's gonna be a fork or a spoon. It's a fork. Me and cutlery at the moment. I'm, I want a cutlery roll, I swear. But anyway, just a fork in the mud. Just a fork in the mud. Anyway, it's crackle. 